So very nice of you to call. Down, Spot, down. Uh, spot. Down, boy. Scat. <laughs> Spotty gets so excited when we have company. Won't you come in? Ah, fine. Why are you staring at me like that? I mean, haven't you ever seen a person with green skin before? Or did I bolt my head on crooked this morning? Oh. Oh, I bet you're always nervous when you meet new people. <laughs> well, that's very understandable. But you know, shyness can be carried too far. Now, you take our mailman. When I think of how shy he is, I positively shudder. <laughs> Instead of coming to our front door with the mail, he just throws it over the fence and runs. <laughs> so untidy. But I guess I shouldn't complain. You know, it takes all kinds of people to make a world. Some folks like sweets and honey, and weather bright and sunny. Well, it takes all kinds of people to make a world. It's kooky and it's zany, not to like it when it's rainy. But it takes all kinds of people to make a world. I only go out walking when it's dark as pitch. The kind of night that's oh so right for man or witch. It's positively eerie and folks are bright and cheery. Well, it takes all kinds of people to make a world. <laughs> it's positively eerie when folks are bright and cheery. Well, it takes all kinds of people. It's very funny people. It takes all kinds of people to make a world. <laughs> well now, uh, let's not stand here. Why don't we both go in the living room? Hmm? Here we are. Now, take a chair. Oh, no, uh, not that one. That's an antique we bought at the prison surplus store. <laughs> Let me sit down and show you how it works. Now, my arms go here. And my legs here. There now. I'm all strapped in. Now, to turn it on, you just pull that switch right there. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> pull. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh
It's amazing how 10,000 volts can relax a body. Herman, where are you? Oh, that's Mrs. Munster. Right here, dear. We have a visitor. Oh, who is it, Herman? Just a little friend of mine who happened to drop by. How nice. I'm always dying to meet new people, and everyone is always welcome at the Munsters. When you're passing by the Munsters, you will give us such a thrill if you'll just walk up and knock upon our door. It's a lovely place to visit if you've got some time to kill, and it's not like any house you've seen before. Out in the back, the wolves are howling. Shrieking bats fly overhead And when we give a party We really give a party It's guaranteed enough to wake the dead Don't wait to be invited Step right up and give a knock Oh, so lightly and politely on our door We'll be happy and delighted if we hear your gentle knock. Oh, so lightly and politely on our door. Oh, so lightly and politely on our door. Come in. Oh, oh, uh, that was very nice of you, Lily, to make our friend feel at home. Now, why don't you introduce our guest to some of our pets? Oh, I'd just love to. Uh, let's go over here and meet the raven who lives in our clock. Uh, lots of folks have a cuckoo clock, but we have the only raven clock in town. Raven, come out here and meet someone. Uh, I said, come on out, raven. When are you going to start doing what you're told? Never more! Never more! That bird is getting fresher every day. I know. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a smart Alec raven. Oh, uh, say, Lily, maybe our guest would like to meet our kitty cat. Why, of course. Here he is lying on the sofa. Just listen to him purr. <laughs> if you rub his ears, he'll meow for you. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. There. Wasn't that cute? You're a nice little kitty, aren't you? Kitty likes visitors. Maybe the next time you come over, you can bring a friend. And if you can't find a friend, we'll help you dig one up. <laughs> Speaking of digging, Herman, our guest hasn't met Grandpa yet. Oh, well, we can go meet him right now. Good. Oh, and while you and your visitor go down in the dungeon, I'll see if I can find some cookies or something in the kitchen. I just might have some warm lady fingers in the oven. See you soon. Well, so, if you're ready to meet Grandpa, let's open up this trap door and drop in. Come on, follow me right down these stone steps. Oh, I uh, say, uh, be careful, they might be slippery. Grandpa always keeps it comfortably damp down here. Uh, Grandpa? Grandpa? Hmm, I don't see him. Oh, oh, there's his pet bat, Igor. But I wonder where Grandpa is. Say, let's look over here. I see he left one of his experiments on the front Bunsen burner. Let's take the lid off this cauldron and see what's cooking. Hmm. Must be a new batch of vulture noodle soup. I wonder if... Looking for someone? <laughs> Grandpa, now look what you made me do. I dropped that iron lid. You know how it frightens me when you appear out of nowhere like that. I'm so sorry, Herman. <laughs> well, you might have scared me right out of my skin. And you know how hard it is for me to get back into it again. And you stop laughing, Igor. It is not funny. Who, uh, who's your friend, Herman? Oh, this? This is someone who dropped in to see us. How do you do? And welcome to Grandpa's little playroom. You can usually find me hanging around down here. Yes, Igor, yes, 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 I know. You and I hang around together. <laughs> but be quiet while I show our guest around. Now, you see, some people call this my den, or my cave, or my dungeon. But I call it... 
at laboratory. It's a hard word to spell, but it sounds so scientific. Here's Grandpa's laboratory. Now come on and follow me. I'll show you mystic magic things from A right through to Z. Now A is for abracadabra, a magic word I know. Now B is for those friendly bats all hanging in a row. C is for my cauldron that's bubbling on the fire. And these for dark and dismal, two words that I admire. E is for electric chair, my very favorite seat. And F's for Friday the 13th, a day that can't be beat. A G is for ghosts and goblins, each night here they hold sway. And H, of course, means Halloween, Ooh, that happy holiday. Now, I is for a human, like a, a, a demon or a ghoul. And J is for Jack the Ripper. I knew him all through school. Now, K is for our kitty, who prowls around at night. And L is for flashing lightning. Oh, what a pretty sight. Now, M stands for the Monsters, a fun group, one and all. And N is for the nighttime, when creatures creep and crawl. O is for the wise old owl who lives in our treetop. And P is for poison ivy. We've grown a lovely crop. And Q is for slimy quicksand. I'm sure you would have guessed. And R is for the raven who makes our clock his nest. S is for this skeleton whose eyes stare into space. And T is for Transylvania, my very favorite place. Now U is for the undertaker. A friend who let you down. And V, well, uh, V's for vampire. 